Hello everyone, I'm Maria Heller. Usually on this channel I make content about sewing, my designs, my dresses and corsets, but almost two years ago my girlfriend and I started a series about house hunting in the Transylvanian countryside. Almost two years passed since we started that video series and we haven't updated it in a very long time. That's because a lot of unforeseen, unpleasant things happened and I really didn't know how to summarize them and I really didn't feel like going over everything. But at the same time, I was also very stubborn in wanting to take things very chronologically with this series. So I was hoping that maybe in the future I will feel like going over everything that happened chronologically and making a nice story. But obviously almost two years passed and I didn't feel like doing that. And actually the more time passed since the, all the unpleasant events, the more dread I felt about having to uh, write them in detail and talk about them in detail and go over everything all over again and get angry at everything all over again when in reality I already moved on. So what I decided to do instead of being stubborn and wanting to go over everything chronologically, I'm just gonna skip. I'm gonna skip the unpleasant things that I don't want to talk about and we're just gonna skip ahead to when we got the house and when we started working on it and we started clearing everything and renovating. So that's what's happening. The series will continue with us clearing everything from the house, clearing the trash uh, and starting to renovate the cottage. I hope you like this series and uh, actually I'm excited to see it myself. I want to see how much progress we've made, how it looked before, how it looks now, to see the comparison because when a lot of time passes, it's hard to remember and appreciate how much we actually managed to do. So I hope you stick around and please subscribe. Thank you for watching. So we decided to buy the last property we visited because we fell in love with the location. Like we said before, you can renovate and extend the house, build other structures on your property. So in time, you can change a house that doesn't fit your needs into one that does. But what you can't change, even with infinite time and resources, is the landscape around it. We love this property because it has a huge yard and because of how remote it is while still having a good paved access road. Our only neighbor is a holiday cabin. In front of the property is the road and across the road is a river and forest. In the back of the property there is also a forest, of which we own a hectare. And to the other side there is just grazing land. When we started looking for a property we said we want one either next to a forest or next to a river, or both. And we found one with both. The house is made of wooden beams on a raised river stone foundation and has an entry hallway, a small room to the right which was a pantry, and two full-sized rooms. The house is plastered on the inside, on the walls and ceilings, but it's not insulated. It has electricity, but nothing else. No running water, no indoor plumbing of any kind, and no heating. There are major renovations that need to take place. We met with the owners, signed the contract and paid the down payment. And then they took some time to sort out some paperwork that wasn't quite up to date. 
This took longer than we hoped, almost six months. So we ended up buying the house at the end of December 2021. It was very nerve-wracking to open up all these envelopes with money which we had saved up for so many years. We always kept our savings in euros, in cash, in envelopes and in a safe. And usually once we managed to put aside a round sum, we would seal the envelope and write the date on it and then never open it again. So we had envelopes from 2016, 2017 which we were now opening and it felt very emotional. I know, logically, that we saved up all this money specifically for the house, but giving it all away was not easy. Both Wana and I are very frugal, so this was a hard thing to do, because knowing we had these envelopes was a big comfort and a big safety net. Sometimes when I felt really hopeless and trapped, I take the envelopes out of the safe and look at them and count how much we had saved up, and feel relieved and comforted in the notion that we had this money set aside and that meant we had options. But to give it all away meant closing the door on all those options. But yeah, maybe that's just our financial trauma. I was also anxious to travel with all this money in cash on us, just the two of us in some tiny unknown town where we made the purchase. I had the money strapped on me in a fanny pack along with a taser. We're skipping the buying of the house, per se, because some unpleasant things happened there, which made us not be able to enjoy or celebrate this accomplishment. But anyway, there was not much to celebrate, because we just went in there and signed some papers, so it was all very abstract. It didn't really sink in until months later, when we started going at the house and started clearing up and renovating. We wanted to build two extensions to the existing house, a kitchen and an atelier, and these were our initial plans. As you can see, the existing house is pretty small. We definitely wouldn't have been able to fit in there, especially running a business from home. So we definitely always wanted a big atelier to finally have that separation of work and living quarters, to finally be able to leave your work as it is when it's time to stop for the day without needing to put everything away to clear your table so that you can have dinner on the same table and so on. But we ended up making the extensions different anyway. So these shapes and measurements you see here is not what we ended up building. Here I'm driving for the first time after getting my driver's license. So at this point, the only thing we could start with was to clear out everything from the house. There was so much trash to clear out.
Another thing that was a priority for me was to build a proper fence. The property was fenced with some wooden posts and barbed wire, but the posts were old and very short, and people and animals could get through the fence, kind of defeating its purpose. Dogs could easily get in, and when a herd of sheep would pass on the road, half the herd would spill into our yard, because they could just get through the fence. We also wanted to be able to store tools and building materials in the house and yard, so we really needed a proper fence so no one would steal our stuff. So I bought some metal fence posts and wire mesh fence, which we stored in the house until we found someone to build the fence for us. So that's about it for now. In the next videos you'll see us starting to clear out the house, demolish some things, build and repair some other things. As you can probably see there's a long way to go to making this house livable and as we imagined it so there's gonna be a lot of content. I hope you found this interesting and if you did please like, subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye!